Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video we're going to finish off Cinnabar Gym, but first of all, I kind of changed up some of the movesets. Actually, I changed up everyone's movesets except for Pikachu's um, and Bill Murray's. So, Rosa Gina now knows... Because I had, I kind of... Now knows Slash, Earthquake, Ember and Fly. I taught it Earthquake instead of Dig. Um, G now knows um, Rock Slide instead of Rest and Ice Beam instead of Water Gun. Um, Calm. <laughs> um, now knows Body Slam instead of, I think, instead of Disable and Toxic instead of Poison Gas. And Edgar, as you can see. Um, now knows Strength instead of Takedown. Just because I didn't really like the... Um, the recoil was too much on takedown and strength is is more accurate and not that less powerful so I said that'd be a good compromise so let's test out some of these new move sets let's just put um put uh, Warrow's Agena out in front there see how he gets on um I don't know what I'm going to do after di after we because I don't think the whole gym should take I don't think the gym should take the entire video I don't know it might do Pokemon quiz test your skill Polywag evolves three times. Uh, yes. No? What? Bad call? Yeah, it does. It evolves only twice. <laughs> I just like using fire Pokemon. Fire! What's oh, that guy? He looks like Detective Conan again. Burglar sent up Ponyta. <laughs> My morning glory. Go, Rosa Genie. Yeah, let's see what how Earthquake does. I just said I teach it Earthquake just instead of Dig because it's more powerful. I don't know. <laughs> like, I didn't want to teach it Strength because Slash is better, to be honest, because in this game, Slash seems to get a critical hit every single time you use it, so... Too hot to handle. Well, you better get out of the kitchen, then. And the door opens. I wish you could just fight them without having to go through the whole question thing. Pokemon quiz! Test your skill! Are Thunder Moves effective against Ground Element Pokemon? Yeah. What? No, they're not. Wait, didn't Kick But Toaster do this exact same thing when he did this gym? Didn't he, like, answer all the questions wrongly on purpose? Wrongly. That's something that really annoys me when I, like, because you're supposed to say wrongly because you're supposed Oh, and ra Oh my god, that is the coolest sprite I have ever seen yet in this game. That is amazing. Oh my god, that looks brilliant. Jesus Christ. Rapidash looks so sexy in this game. But, um, that aside, I'm so obs- You guys must think I'm just absolutely obsessed with sprites, that I just- That the sprites in this game just, like, just, like- I'm not even going to continue that sentence. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, didn't Kickbutt Toaster do this exact same thing where he answered all the questions wrongly? Oh yeah, I was talking about wrongly. See, you're supposed to say the adverb because you're using a verb, so you're supposed to say wrongly. But no one does, it's just a thing. But one thing I don't understand, would you please, because I know most of the people who watch this are from the States. Why do you guys always say addicting if it's some, like, let's say it's some, like, let's say alcohol. Alcohol is, like, easy to get addicted to. Um, like, alcohol is something easy to get addicted to. Whereas, like, weed over here would say addictive, which makes sense because it's, it's an adjective. Like, the alcohol is addictive. Whereas, like, if you say, like, the alcohol is addicting, that doesn't make any sense. That's the verb. And, like, I don't understand. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I just don't understand that because no one says addicting over here. And whenever I hear it, it just sounds so wrong. It just sounds wrong to hear people say, like, this game is very addicting or this. So, And I've heard loads of people say it, like, on YouTube and stuff like that. And I'm like, and they're all American or Canadian. I don't know. Um, let's see how G get. Let's how, see how much um, Com does with that body slam. But um, yeah. So like, please let, explain this to me because I don't understand it at all. Oh my god, that's really good. So now we have a a mock that can paralyze and poison. So yeah, because we'd always say addictive. Another thing like that is enquiry and inquiry. Like, inquiry and inquiry. Like, the difference between them. Because I was typing yesterday and I used the word inquiry, like E N C or E N E N C E N Q U I R Y. Which is a word. It is a word. Um. And it said that it was wrong. So I was like. But no, that. 
Tombstoner. What the hell is that? <laughs> is that someone who like goes down into like mausoleum? I checked in every mausoleum. I tromped through the pumpkin patch. I looked behind a cyclops eye. Would I did, but he wasn't there. <laughs> I checked at every mausoleum! You guys probably know what movie that's from. But yeah. Like, basically, like, they're, they, technically, they're just two alternate spellings of the same word, Enquire and Inquire. But, like, because Google Chrome uses American spellings when it's spell checking, which really in irritates me, because I spell color with a U, I spell humor with a U, and things like that, and re why do I still have Warosagina out? Um, look, see, critical hit. I don't understand, and I, but I don't know whether it's just saying that or whether. Um, but like, so it ca it was showing up that enquiry was wrong. Um, what was I sorry? oh yeah, but but that inquiry would be right, but it wouldn't have been in that context because the difference between them is that enquiry is if you're just asking someone a question. Like, if, Joe, you might inquire as to how someone's doing, or you might inquire as to how much something costs, or something like that, as far as I know. Whereas an inquiry, like, is an investigation, so you'd make an inquiry into what actually happened, or you'd make an inquiry into how the... Who pulled the spatula from the grease? Like, that kind of thing. Um... So yeah, that's the difference, and it was so pissing me off that that kept happening. Yeah, I'm gonna save before fighting Blaine. Just in case, I don't know. I love Blaine's voice in the anime, where he's like, You'll see, look to the swing, you'll see my ha hands, or at least my face! <laughs> he sounds really funny. Um, I don't know what to send. Let's send out Edgar, just... Or will we? No, we'll send out Cum, just for the laugh. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? This is so bad. Okay, here we go. Ha! I am Blaine. I am the leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon will incinerate all challengers. My ha my sharp lance will pierce your soft cocoon. Ha! You better have burn heal. <laughs> what are you going to do? Are you going to warm up my cold heart with a hot island song? Look at him. He has a clock mustache. Blaine sent out nine. Go, nine tails! Well, he had one of them in the anime, didn't he? Yeah, Blaine, as far as I know, is the only gym leader whose um, Pokemon don't really add up properly with what he had in the anime. Because in the anime, he had a nine tails, and he had a ride on, and then, oh, brilliant, he had Magmar! And that's why he said Magmar. He, he, like, threw his arms up in the air and went, Magmar! And then Magmar, like, came out of the. He came out of the, the magma. So yeah, um, but in this game, he, his Pokemon are pretty similar to what he has in Red and Blue, just of a higher level. Like he has a Nine Tails, as far as I know, he has a Rapidash and a oh please, oh, for God's sake, this is so irritating. A Rapidash and an Arcanine, as far as I know. Good job, come. You come all over that Nine Tails' face. Face, you'll see my hands, or at least my face. <laughs> that guy's voice. It was just so funny. Let's see how G gets on with Rockside, because we haven't shown that off yet. That sprite, I feel like sick to actually be harming that sprite, it's so beautiful. Rockslide! Well no, that's me saying that, so I'd be like, use Rockside, or Kvald's friend would be like, okay. But... Oh my god, that looks kind of cool. Why did the rocks make that noise? Seriously. It's super effective! Rapidash, use Growl! <laughs> Your electric attacks don't harm my Magmar, it's using the heat as a shield! That made no sense either, so many things in that cartoon didn't make any sense. But like the first, like the Indigo, like the Indigo League seasons, like the first seasons, were so entertaining, they were really good! I have to admit, I would love to have all of them on DVD, because they were just so good. Oh, Rapidash is paralyzed. It may not be able to attack! But um... Yeah, do you remember, but like Blaine in the anime used to be like, doing all these riddles. Well, let's send out Edgar, see how he gets on. Seeing as he's apparently the one we're supposed to be using in the fire gym. Yeah, that Arc... See, he has an Arcanine. Um, if this were more like the anime... Let's try and guillotine it just for the laugh. <laughs> just for no reason. <laughs> Aww. Let's try again! 
I think that's gonna kill Edgar. Like, look how high level that thing is. Oh man, Edgar, couldn't you just hit once? Let's go for a surf. This is going to kill Edgar, unless his defense can take it. Oh, cool. Edgar, you surf! He used to be doing all those riddles, and do you remember when he was like, um... I heard all this noise on the way to the lavatory, but then again, every room in a volcano is a lavatory. And he'd like be like, making all these shitty jokes. Well, I don't know what to do. I suppose we could switch out to, um... To G. I don't kind of, I, I kind of don't want to self-destruct, because I don't want to lose the experience, but self-destruct would take him out. Fire Blast, oh my god, that's the, mo that's the most powerful fire-type attack! Is what Brock said. Do you remember when Magmar was going to use, um, Fire Blast? Oh, this is oh my god, you can't kill G! I think that's the first time something's killed G! It probably isn't, knowing me, I'm probably just wrong. Well, Rosa Gina, you can just Earthquake that damn thing to death. Because, um, oh my god, how are you faster than Arcanine? Arcanine is really fast, isn't he? That's what I'm very, I, I don't really have much, that did fuck all. I'm not really, I don't have much experience of Arcanine, I don't use them. I've never actually trained an Arcanine and used one or whatever. Um, let's go for a fly, <laughs> just for no reason. Oh yes, that's why it is, it's because he has Reflect up, that dick. What? No, that is the completely wrong attack to use. Will you stop Wait, He's just going to use and reflect all the time. But, um... Yeah, I've never used an Arcanine. Probably because, like, there's never been Arcanines naturally in the games I had. Because, I, like, I was telling... I can't remember who I was telling. I've never had... Oh, we beat him. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> I've never had, like, the first one. Like, I didn't have red. I had blue. And then when Gold and Silver came out, I had Silver. So I always had the AND one. I never had the first one, I had the second one. Like I had Red AND Blue, and Gold, AND Silver. And I had Ruby AND Sapphire. I didn't have Ruby, I didn't have Red, and I didn't have Gold. I had like the second one. And I have Pearl. Pearl is the second one of that group. So I'm probably going to get White just to continue on the tr tradition. Asher save TM38. TM38 contains Fire Blast. Teach it to a Fire-type Pokémon. Charmeleon or Ponyta would be good bets. Oh, thanks, man. I really like Blaine. I loved Blaine's character in the anime. He was just so entertaining, and he was so kooky. I think that's why I liked him. Um, I don't know what to do for the rest of this video. I suppose, Joe you know what I could do, seeing as we're heading back that direction anyway? I'm going to probably... Well, I'll talk to Elmer Fudd first. Ash, you beat that Firebrand. Um, Firebrand is what Mario uses in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Um, I suppose what I could do is, um... Gee, he, like, Blaine actually put up quite a fight. Blaine turned out to be more difficult than Sabrina. Um, I suppose we could fly back to Pewter City and I could show you, like, where you get that... Old Amber, like, I showed, like... I suppose, like, I might as well get it, I suppose. Go back to the GREAT TOWN! The GREAT TOWN! Oh, I sure hope he doesn't watch this video. Oh, we need to get out Koshasaur. Bill's PC. I'm a PC, and I'm four years old. Um, deposit. We might as well deposit cum, just because it's funny. Cum was stored in box one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so immature, Koshasaur. I'm thinking of taking out, like, um... Butterfree and Squirtle and Mankey and Pidgeotto and giving them names as well, seeing as I need... Actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to deposit all the rest of them as well. Oh, shut up, Pikachu! Quit your whining! I'll deposit them all except where Rosa Gina. That's what I'm going to do for the rest. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take out, um... Pichuta! I'm going to take out all of them that I haven't nicknamed yet, and I'm going to... Because it's not really fair that the rest of them, like, don't have nicknames either. Butterfree. Edgar, you go back in as well, sorry. Um, and withdraw Cutasaur, because we need the Cutasaur to get um, the old Amber. I can't remember what I was talking about, sorry. Oh yeah, the Grey Town, the Grey Town. I I'm not even going to go into that. Actually, that's, I sh I, oh, I really should finish that. That's like a thing that I meant to... I'll, by the time this goes up, I promise that'll be already up on my vlog channel. Um, 
this thing that that thing where my my friend and I like went to Cork City Jail. Um, where's Cautious Orf? There he is. Went to Cork City Jail and um, recorded our voices while we were there. <laughs> And like all the way on the trip, and it is so stupid. It is really funny, but I have to like see the recording of the voices isn't very good. But my colleagues just ignore me. But I have a favor to ask. Take this to a Pokemon lab, get D to a nunnery, and receive the old amber. Um, yeah, so you can bring that along with. I think I picked the Helix fossil just because I have a fan. I have like a just. I'm 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 a fan of um Omastar. You can take that to the nunnery as well to the. Laboratory. This is my lab, and this is my laboratory. Um. So yeah, we record. But oh yeah, but I have to put subtitles on the video because it's so um because the set we weren't able to get very good sound quality on on the recording. So that's taking ages, and whenever I start doing it, it just starts melting my mind trying to figure out what we were saying. But I'm gonna try and get that up because it's really really funny. Okay, I'm gonna try and think of names for these guys. Seeing as we have, like, if you if you want to just turn off the video right now, I don't care, because I'm just giving nicknames to these pointless Pokemon. So I guess for those who want to turn off the video now, then I'll see you next time. Um, what do we name Pidgeotto? Pidgeotto, is it? That is a decent nickname. But would you like me to give it a nicer name? How about it? Yes. Fine, what should we name it? We will name it. <laughs> I honestly don't know what we should name it. Um, let me see, what kind of birds are- Birds are there? Birds, I should call it bird the word. That's what I'll call it, just for no reason. B... I... or... B I R D T H E W. No, that doesn't fit in! Well no, if I spell it like bird da word, then it'll fit in. Just for no reason. This is gonna be so stupid. <laughs> but then you're used to me giving the Pokémon really retarded nicknames, so it shouldn't matter. Bird, the word. <laughs> okay, this Pokemon has been renamed Bird, the word because the bird, bird, birds, the birds, the word. It's a, be it is a better nickname than before. Pidgeot was a stupid name. Want me to rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? Yes. Um, Squirtle. Let me think. What's a turtle name? That is a Squirtle isn't a nickname. Squirtle is just his real name. What should we name it? Okay, we're gone up to like 18 minutes. Okay, let me see. Um. Oh man. Oh, what should, what should I name it? I don't know. See, what was my favorite? My favorite was always um Donatello. He was all my always my favorite, but I don't think that fits in. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Seeing as like, oh maybe. Oh my god, maybe that's what Gavald was doing. I just. <laughs> I just had an epiphany. Do you know what I like all of the. All of the turtles are named after Renaissance artists, and his one is named Bellini. Maybe that's why he named it Bellini, because like he'd be like the fifth turtle. No, I'm not going naming it Donatello, because he'd be like the fifth turtle, and he'd also have been named after a Renaissance artist. That is, oh my god, I've just figured that out there. <laughs> Call me stupid. Um, I don't know, maybe that's not what he intended at all. I don't know, I'm sure he'll comment telling me as such. Um... I'm going to call him Tip Top. Just, no, I'm going to call him Tank Top because <laughs> Tank Top was like one of the most funny names a character ever had in the history of anything because it sounds like tanked up and it's just like <laughs> I just just used to imagine a torches being tanked. <laughs> That's a better name than before. Hello, hello, I am the official name Beta. What do we do to the nicknames of your Pokemon? Yes, which Pokemon should I look at? Mankey, well I think we can only call him Potplant because that's what I used to call him all the time. How about it? Yes. Fine, what should we name it? We'll name it Potplant. Because that's always- because Mankey does look like a Potplant in this game. The back sprite does at least. I think it's only right that we name it Potplant. A. N. T. Pot plant. Okay, this Pokemon has been named Pot plant. That's a better name than before. Maybe we should call it Mary O'Sullivan. <laughs> the first time I came here was to work. <laughs> that was so funny. 
Butterfree, is it? That's a decent nickname. But would you like me to give it a nicer name? How about it? Oh man, I'm not going to be able... I'm going to call it Bread and... Just because, like... Bread and Butterfly. Bread and... That is the stupidest name. I think that's the stupidest name I've thought of yet. Bread and... Because he's Bread and Butterfree. <laughs> This Pokemon has been renamed Bread and <laughs> That's a better name than before. Is it really? I wouldn't know. So now we have Rosagina, Bird the Word, Tank Top, Pot Plant, Bread and Cautiosaur, and back in the computer we have Cum, we have Pikachu, we have G, we have Edgar, we have Moo Mesa, we have B Uncle Buck <laughs> And we have oh, I don't know who else we have. Let's just leave it at that. I'll see you guys next time um, on Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. Bye.